What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella, and I am back with another video. Amir Khan, Kel Brook, will we finally get that fight? Amir Khan returned yesterday after a two-year layoff after getting brutally knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. He destroyed Phil Logreco in 40 seconds. 40 seconds. This fight took place at a catch weight of 150 pounds, and Khan looked good, you know, considering that he had been out of the ring for two years, and he's coming off of a brutal knockout. Now, we all know Khan mentioned Errol Spence's name. He wants to fight him. But let's be real. That fight can wait. The fight that needs to happen and that needs to happen next is Kell Brook versus Amir Khan. There's no need to further marinate, um, prolong um, a fight between these two because we've seen what happened. Although Kell Brook has been more relevant than Amir Khan the last two years, he's been, you know, IBF World Toy Champion. So he has things to, you know, go on for him. But we've seen what happened to him when he stepped up two weight classes to 160 and fought Gennady Golovkin, got his orbital bone, bro orbital bone broken, put him on the shelf for like eight or nine months, came back, first fight back, took on Errol Spence. We seen what happened. He got his other orbital bone broken, put him on the shelf another nine months. Now, he returned <clears throat> a few months ago and destroyed Sergei Rabachenko, um in the second round. Amir Khan just returned yesterday, destroyed Phil Logreco in the first round. And both of these guys seem to want to fight Errol Spence. Carol Brooks is saying he'll go to 154, or he's already at 154, that Spence should come up to 154 um, and face him. Spence said that if Brook get a title, he'll go to 154 and fight him. Now, you got Amir Khan wanting to fight Errol Spence. And that's cool. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But this is a huge money fight. And I know, and I know Eddie Hearn has already said that this fight will always be there. But will it really? How many more times uh, is Amir Khan going to get knocked out before it's time for him to call it a, a career? How many times does Kell Brook's orbital bone have to be broken before it's time to call it a career? So, Eddie Hearn, you got two guys that are big money Jarrells. Over there in the UK, you need to maximize um, these two guys while you have them. Khan is 31, Brook is 31, I believe, and they're not getting any younger. Uh, Brook is fresher, in my opinion. Um, only question mark with him is how will his face, how will his eyes, um, how will his bones, facially in his face, hold up to pressure, to power? You know what I'm saying? To constant um, punches being thrown his way. Now, Amir Khan isn't the biggest puncher, but he's fast, and he has some power. My advice to Eddie Hearn, he probably doesn't need it. And if he did hear this video, he probably wouldn't listen. But my advice to Eddie Hearn is to make that fight now. That's a fight I've been wanting to see like so many other boxing fans. And I know the fans over there in the UK are dying to see these two get in the ring. Um, they can't stand each other. The trash talking has never stopped. And it's being ratcheted back up now since um, both guys have successfully uh, won their comeback fights. And, you know, um, now we just need to get them in the ring and see who's the better fighter. You know what I'm saying? This fight can go a number of different ways. Um, we all know the power advantage lies in Kell Brook's side. We know the speed advantage lies on Amir Khan's side. I think Amir Khan... Uh, is the better boxer, but I love Kell Brook's timing and, and his accuracy um, in the way he goes about fighting. And like Kell Brook said in the article on BoxingScene.com, time and beat speed, and we all know that. You can be the fastest motherfucker on the planet. You know what I'm saying? 
But if you're going against a guy who can time you, who's accurate, then he can knock that all off with one shot. And that's what Kell Brook did to Sean Porter, who isn't fast like Amir Khan, but he was able to time him, you know, with a simple jab, right hand. It threw Sean Porter all the way off. You know what I'm saying? And if you're constantly getting timed by a guy, it, it gets to you mentally. I just think this fight needs to happen before any other fight. And don't get me wrong. If either Kell Brook or Amir Khan has a, a fight presented to them um, for a title, then, of course, you take that fight. You know what I'm saying? You would be crazy not to. But if none of those offers come to either guy's way, I think that the most logical um, fight for those two or for these two um, are to face each other. You know, they stand to make millions and millions of dollars. They're with the same promoter now, so there's no hurdle, hurdle on that. Um, both guys express, you know, their willingness to fight each other. Um, Kell Brook is confident. He destroyed uh, Amir Khan, you know, and Amir Khan, you know, is confident that he'll beat Kell Brook. So make that fight happen. Stop the bullshit. Stop the shenanigans and get these two in the, uh, in the ring. They're, you know, two of the more talented fighters in the sport um, for all their, you know, um, you know, uh, vulnerabilities, these guys do come to fight. They do uh, put it all on the line when they get in the ring. And that's what you got to admire and respect from these two. So hopefully we get uh, Kell Brook versus Amir Khan sometime this year, possibly December, um, so they can settle this feud once and for all. And who knows? You know, they could be good for each other. We don't know how long their careers, how much more time they got in their, left in their career. This could be like a trilogy battle where they can – you know, fight, make tons of money, you know what I'm saying, put on, put on um, you know, legacy uh, type fights that they will be remembered in time throughout history forever. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. But Eddie Hearn already talking about this fight can be made that any time or that fight will always be there. And I don't like the sound of that because I feel like these guys, especially Khan and, and Brooke, too much has happened to them in the last two years. For you to kind of try to keep marinating and prolonging um, this fight instead of getting it done. So, if you like this video, as always, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Head over to Facebook. Smack that like button on the Colossal Boxing Talk Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter at Colossal CBT. Shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. Um, make sure you subscribe to 3kingsboxing.com daily for your latest boxing news, unfiltered, unbiased, the way it's supposed to be reported. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.